Hello, my fellow Wastelanders, I am more to me for a life, and we are back with Fallout 4 Builds. Today, we are actually going over a challenge by this wonderful Frenchman I met on Dee's channel. I will leave a link for both that video and Dee's channel down in the comments. But so far, I have decided instead of doing a let's build on this, that I am actually going to be doing a day by day. So after I finish with one day's worth of work, I will actually record what I've gotten done so far and what my ideas are for the next section of it. So far I have just this as the opening. It's not fleshed out a whole lot. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do over there just yet. But, you know, wonderful little Brahmin guys. Uh, if you're not actually watching the Psycho Mistress thing, the this may not... Shut up, dude, Assume shut up. That may not make a whole lot of sense, but they will later on, so... And don't worry about that randomly placed bed that I sleep in all the time. Business is this good. is the hospital, or it soon shall be, with a wonderful view. It is going to get a whole lot of decorations and texturing. Texturing. That is so not a word. Uh, texturizing? Okay, I give up. Anyway, uh, there's just a little bit of detail going on so far with this. Just a little bit around the edges, just a tiny bit. Tiny. I can't talk today. I'm not doing words. Let's just forget Stick I ever said that. And you got a better chance of um, for those of you who are using the Place Everywhere mod, and you do have a tendency of picking up larger things and they jump up, up off the screen, the pillar glitch will in fact work to help settle it where you need it to. My issue was, is I was making the diner and I still had clipping through plants. Even though I'm using the scrap everything or the spring cleaning, I can't remember at this particular point. Point. My god. I do apologize. I worked today, which means I had to come home and take a little bit of medication to uh, take the pain away from my back, but that's another story. Uh, anyway, I do apologize for the mess up in words. Anyway, uh, the, the foliage was actually clipping through the bottom and annoyed me, so I wanted to bring the whole thing up. Now, this is actually the building in the back. Oh, yeah, I never even told you where I was at, in case some of you do not know. Let us bring it up. I'm getting ahead of myself. We are up here at Ten Pines Bluff for this challenge. Now, the challenge itself, he states inside his uh, video, and uh, basically it needs to be a fully-fledged working settlement. It needs to have all the amenities, including a shooting range, to train up your guards. So this is actually the area where everybody's going to be cooking at, and this is inside the building that was originally here that you can't tear down. But here's the diner so far, and here is the upstairs where everybody will be eating. And the downstairs is going to be kind of like a diner slash grocery, possibly. I haven't quite fully decided on that yet. But it is looking great. I do love this wonderful new texture. It adds a little bit more color to the variety. And I will be posting my uh, mod list down uh, either... Oh, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, my God. That's another mod. Uh, that will be listed down in the, the things. I am too low level for it, to be honest with you. Basically, it's like a blood rain that is going to be going on with the, uh, spoiler alert. Please ignore the following message for those who are interested in leaving that part of the Psycho Mistress thing for later. But, uh, basically it is a very killer rain and I am too low level to handle it. So, uh, world manipulation, weather, clear. Anyway, I can't handle it at my low level. It'll kill me in like five seconds. Okay, and here is going to be a storage building. I don't have everything fleshed out here, just this part of it. And this is going to be all the stocked up supplies. This is probably also the reason why the people in this particular area decide to settle here, because when they first showed up, there was a bunker here. And they just kind of added to and found other things. So that kind of gives a little bit of a backstory on how the people came to be here. And, hi guys, how you doing? This is going to be a working area. Here's our water pumps. It's got enough water for 20 folks, so I'm going to be putting up a beacon to bring in some more people later on. This might be the first season we'll end up with a reserve. Thanks yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Just doing my duty. And here is one of our guard posts. Let me see if I can actually get it outside. Be no, nope, nope. It's not going to let me do it. I'll go around back in just a minute. After I show you this little walkway that's absolutely... Well, it's a walkway. And here's a wonderfully placed rock right there. I don't know why. It just felt like it needed to be there. It was calling to me. So I did. 
and here's gonna be another small guard area slash sitting area and that is basically all I've got so far I wanted to flesh out the diner part of it first and that right there is the outside of the guard shack that comes from the uh, GM can't remember hang on I'll show you if I oh I gotta get back inside duh not bad it happens come on okay uh the chi 2 m workshop thing that's where that came from i only point that out because that does look like a thematic and practical type of building but i wanted to point out where this particular building came from though i do have some thematic and practical stuff in here as well both very good mods and I have got this wonderful little irrigation system going on. I'm not sure if I'm going to add this element into other parts, but my main idea for this is if it's an open settlement, they're very self-sufficient and everything, but they're allowing people from the outside in, that it would probably be a good idea to hide their food in plain sight. So it's like, okay, we've got a couple of tomatoes, but these right here, which also come from the same mod, are also little planters. Oddly enough, my food... Uh, menu thingamajig is not working right now. One of the mods is clashing with it. I have to go through the mods and figure out which one it is in particular. But after that is, I will be able to put maybe some carrots in the bottom of that and it'll give us a little bit more food. Let me run into this pillar right here because I'm a ding-ass. Okay, and let me see. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Uh, yeah. I did replace the textures on there through a mod. Uh, I'm trying to point out anything else. A lot of these new wall features are from the G2M mod as well. Um, let me see if I can pick it out. Uh, the retexturing on those is also another mod. Uh, anything else? Oh, and these little roof pieces right here from the thematic and practical. Dude, I'm talking! Just shh. We are having conversations here. And that, that's pretty much it. There is some retexturing on these from the G2 mod as well. The only issue is, is I can't get these same pieces. I can't get like the little wall supports in that same don't thing. The, the little square pieces like this, they don't come in that mod, which is really weird to me. I don't know why they don't include those. But I that is pretty much it. I've got some of the resources taken care of. I've got the restaurant part taken care of. I mean, no decorations, obviously, just yet. But I am thinking the gun range is going to be right where I'm standing, inside of a building. And I'm not sure precisely how I'm going to do it. And I think the barracks are going to kind of be from this side spanning over to that side with a little trade area right there where they all sit. But I haven't quite figured that part out. But that is my update so far. And I will be getting back with you as soon as I get another group of... Uh, that group of videos, geez, another chance to actually do some more building. That way I can keep you updated on how it's going, and you can see how I kind of progress without actually having to watch me build it. This is kind of how I do it. I just start throwing things out and just see what happens. And yet again, I do apologize for the, oh yeah, other mod, Touch of Green. Um, I think that's the one I'm using. Adds just a little bit of the green grass back in. But um, as I said, spoilers for the other series that I am working on. So I will be doing build series from challenges. If you have a challenge for me, please post it down in the comments. I do so love a challenge. It keeps me racing with more ideas and I really, I really do enjoy doing them. So if you have any challenges, if you've heard of any challenges, post them down in my comments. Not only will I take a look at the challenge, I will show my videos of me making the challenge and I will send a link of where I find the challenges and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. So, so badly rambling. Okay, that that's pretty much it. Y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful 5 o'clock somewhere. Bye-bye.